think on this uh, really tough draft point, what stood out about his game to you as a pitcher today? Thought he was great. Pace of play, physical, not scared to hang on to the puck and, and, and move into open areas, take the ice that was available to him. Um, solid defensively, helped create offensively. Just on Pox, great pace to his game. Kind of reminded me of uh, Nachushkin last game. We talked about Nazi Kadri, and we went down to talk to you about what he's gone through over the years and yeah. the last season in the playoffs. Tonight, is this another case of are we going to see people attention even more to try to fill his name into this spot? Uh, I don't know. I think that I think we had some discipline issues tonight for sure. Like the one that I didn't have a problem with was uh, Landeskog. You know, like he gets gets in there and him and Hartman have a thing and they were trying to sell it, settle it and the, and the officials wouldn't let him do that. I don't like the undisciplined stuff after. Like Naz takes a ten minute misconduct for no reason. Could have used him in the game. I understand it's exhibition. Comp for two hands, a guy in the back of the legs. I mean, if there's ways to settle settle scores, especially with a lot of game remaining, or do something about it. You know, if you got a problem with a the guy, then go drop your gloves and take care of it instead of talking and slashing and all that. And um, you know, I know it's exhibition and they're all veteran guys, but I mean, we'll have to clean up some of that discipline stuff because we kept them in the game early on. I thought we had a decent first period. We're out shooting them even halfway through the game. And, but the penalties were the difference, right? They got two power play goals on us. So we gotta be, we gotta be better in that area. Do you want Gabe to be the Avenger though in that situation or any situation? I mean, it's part of Gabe's DNA, right? He's the captain of our team. He didn't like the hit. He didn't like the play. He thought it was dirty. So he's going to take care of it. And we got some other guys that can do that now for sure. Um, but I think there's instances where you want guys stepping up, not just Gabe, guys that maybe it's not doesn't come naturally to them, but you want them to stick together. If they don't like a play that happens, that's their job. He wasn't the, the puck that kind of the cross check went past him, but... Yeah, he kind of yeah. runs at him or a high hit from behind on that rush situation. Then Naz gets one on the even up with the cross check, and then Landy came in and saw it. And, I mean, you know, is what it is. Olison doesn't seem like or appear like the no, he does not. He's getting better every day. You know, he's uh, inquisitive. He wants to know. He's eager to learn. I think he's, um, from talking to him, admittedly, he, un he underestimated the, the lack of time and space he was going to have in, um, you know, playing on the smaller rink because he didn't have a great showing, to be honest with you, in, um, in Arizona for me. Pretty quiet, didn't make a lot of plays. Um, I think he turns up the intensity level, starts his focus is better, his preparation's better as far as, you know, watching some of the video and the system stuff we've done and asking the right questions. And he looks like he's getting more comfortable. He understands now that he's going to be under duress more often. Um, smart player, though. He starts hanging on the puck a little bit more. He's moving into the right areas to score goals. I mean, not there's not a whole lot of players, even in the NHL, that can score from distance like that, like he did tonight. So, I mean, he's he's... He keeps ramping up his game, so he's going to keep getting to play more games in exhibition. What did you think about Jack Noonan? Well, I thought that Noonan was really good. You know, I thought uh, Kempfer had some moments where he was okay. Um, yeah, and Noonan was good, though, really good. Like the plan to split those guys evenly. Yeah. Half the game. So yeah. It's not like Darcy would get split all the way. No, it was the same. It was the same as the other night. We were playing them half a game each. Well, I don't want our guys cruising through any game. You know, I think it's just developing bad habits. If they're just going to cruise through and stick check and, you know, play a soft perimeter game. We got to get to our game. We only have six exhibition games. Some of these veterans are only playing two, some three. We got we to get to our game and play, get there as quick as possible. I understand they're not going to lay it on the line 110% in exhibition, especially guys that have been around. But, I mean, eventually you got to get in the battle and you got to get your habits right and get used to doing what you got to do to win come regular season. Yeah, I thought he was pretty good. I'll tell you who was really good on the back end was Eric Johnson. He was physical, made some plays, scores a nice goal, involved, um, stepping up in the neutral zone at all the right times. Uh, I thought he managed the game really well tonight. He obviously wants to win a ring, but Toronto, you know, Taylor Sarah comes back. Do you like them together? Do you think you kind of put that play down for them? I liked him tonight. 
you know, that's all I can say. That's the first game I've seen him play in a long time, and he did a nice job. He reminded me of Jack Johnson the other night. Like, they were both good in, in you know, one night each. And, and Jack was, was good today. He was fine today as well. Like, we, it was a little bit of a scrambly game. I didn't love us structurally. I think uh, we lost too many races in the second half of the game and put us put ourselves under duress. We had some turnovers, some sloppy play, misreads. But, um you know, the lineups are mixed and matched and everything, but I thought Jack did a nice job again, and, and that could be something we see in regular season for sure, Gerard and, and EJ. All right, thank you, guys. It was good. I mean, not only, uh, you know, the goals, but just get back out there. It just felt great. Uh, long, kind of like a year, you know, the bubble to now, and they played four games last year, but it felt good. Helps when you're playing with this guy, one of the best, so uh, it was fun. Yeah, it feels good. You know, he's uh, he's very good offensively and defensively, so that helped me a lot. Uh, he's always at the good uh, good place, a good time, so it makes my job easier. Uh, feels good to be back with EJ. You said makes your job easier, but it enable you to play more like you want to play. I mean, like I think we reach each other like pretty good. You know, like when he goes, I just stay back a little bit, and like when I go, he stay back and. Uh, like I said, you know, he's very good offensively and defensively. It's pretty easy for me, like, just to read where he is. And, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, it was good to be back with him. And he had a great game today after being uh, out for a long time. You want to just talk about the chippiness of the game, especially from Padre and Hartman? Yeah, I mean, those guys, that's just how they play. I think uh, <clears throat> if you didn't see that, you'd probably wonder what was wrong as opposed to seeing it. So. You know, just guys that play hard and sometimes things boil over and that kind of happens. And, you know, it's two teams that have seen a lot of each other the last couple of years. So it also plays a factor into it, but all, all part of the uh, stuff that's part of the game and those guys kind of thrive in that, that part of it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't expect to you know, be there when the season starts. But if I need to be, I know I'm capable. Um, you know, we have G and uh, Kale and Taser. I mean, those those three guys could be on the Canadian Olympic team. And you, that's just, they deserve to be there. They're so good. So if I'm needed, I'm happy to do so. But, you know, you just kind of accept whatever role you're given. And, uh, you know, when you're given that time, you have to show something with it. And uh, I just try to do that tonight. And frankly, all camp and preseason, you know, I haven't played like I've deserved or getting given anything. I've played like I'm trying to earn a job and not playing like, you know, I'm just going to be given one. So I think you just have to go out no matter preseason or camp, just go out and prove yourself every day. And that's what I've tried to do. For either of both of you, um, from what you saw, what stood out about Jake Delangelo maybe compared to how he was last season in the playoffs to now? Yeah, I think uh, – I'm really impressed with Sample and Olison. Um, I remember when I saw Miko for the first time a few years ago, you could just see he's going to be a player. And I kind of get the same vibe from from Oli. He's going to be a good one. So is Sample. And I think Sample's game's probably more polished and ready quicker. Um, Oli's probably got to put a little size on and get a little stronger. But the NHL skill set's there, the shot's there, the hockey sense is there, the things you can't teach are there. So. Um, he might take a little bit longer, but he's going to be a player. And Sample's a player now, and um, both uh, really fun to watch and play with. They're uh, going to be a big part of our team in the future. Yeah, I stayed here all summer. I went back home for like three weeks. Uh, yeah, I just stayed here and trained here with uh, Casey. Uh, skate on the ice with EJ as well. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that was fun to just to stay here. I like to stay here. I like the I like Denver. Uh, I like to train here as well. So, and yeah, I work on like my defensive aspect a little bit. You know, I uh, just try to to be better defensively, and and I mean like I try to be better everywhere on the ice. You know, offensively and defensively, but especially defensively a little bit more. We skated for three weeks with no goalie. If that tells you anything, just us. <laughs> <laughs> we were grinding. Um, 
truthfully, I had some doubts when I was going through the concussion about whether I was going to be able to come back. Um, but once I started feeling better and getting on the ice, I knew I was going to be fine. And uh, yeah, I just, you know, you, the only thing you really miss is you get your conditioning back and you get your timing back. And, you know, it just took some time and um, you just stick with it. And um, you can control your attitude, you can control your work ethic and how hard you work on and off the ice. So I just tried to focus on those things and everything else, you know, just kind of fell back into place. I mean, there's still a lot of work left to do just one game. So, um, you know, just put your nose back, back down and keep working hard and try and just replicate good games like that every, every night. And, uh, you know, we're not going to be perfect, but you know, if you put in the good habits, uh, things will more than likely go your way. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.